in position. Okay, and we're, going. we're actually going to be playing a kitchen wall. Now, this is a commercial grade clay, which I'm going to have to seal if it's going to go in a kitchen or bath. You know, you don't want water hitting this directly. So my customer wants this, and we recommended doing some sealer on it, and then that's what we're going to do. It's going to be fine. It's a juice bar, so we're not talking about food, grease coming up and splashing on it. It's just water, and it's sealed. It'll be fine. All right. So now I'm just putting it on here. You don't want to do too much, because it will start to fall if you're not used to using this stuff. And even if you are, it still falls. All right. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is take my trowel, put it here. There. Now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this. You could use that one or this one. Okay. I like to use this one. Actually, this is the wrong one. It's a different size, but I'll just show you as I'm doing it. Okay, see, it starts to fall. So now basically, I can start in the corner and just push it down a little bit, and there it goes, starting to fall. This is a tight spot, so sometimes it's easier for me to use this, and then I come with the other one and fix it. This is too thin. The thicker one it wouldn't be falling as much, but you'll see as it goes. And it's just sitting there. Again, you have plenty of time to work with this stuff. It's wet, so you don't have to worry about it. It sounds like it's hard to pull on. And... Yes, you have to get used to it. And the consistency of it also plays a big role. If this, like I said, this is drier, uh -huh. you're going to be slipping as much. The wetter it is, the slipperier it is. Okay. So I'm just doing this here along here. The other reason is because if I start to use this, which I'll show you right now how I do it. I tend to touch the top of the. Uh, I tend to touch the uh, ceiling, and I don't want to do that. Now, okay. Here, make a mess. All right, here we go. So now let's just say I take this, and I take this much, a lot more than I put on the other one. Okay. Now I go up here. Now from experience, I can do it. But if you're not experienced enough, or you haven't done this enough times, you're gonna get it up, and yeah. it's gonna touch, and it is touching, and that's what I don't like. I don't like it to touch up top. Okay. Just because then you're adding more to it. Okay, but I'll finish it with this one. See here? It's too much. Yeah. Now again, this is going on as thick as a credit card. About, give or take. Now this isn't hard, so it's a little harder. Okay. And it will go on thicker. But basically that's what you want to do. Okay. And a way to test it is I'll show you in a minute. Put, put a credit card to it and do it. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is go back where I put the other one on where it's extra uh -huh. and just take it off. Pull it off. Just trowel it down. Kind of play with it. And you'll see now that it's pretty much flat. So now what I'm gonna do is just take now a lot more, go from this side, and the same thing, you can do this way or with the other trowel. Now I'm going to come across and bring them together. And this is why I tell you it's important to do a whole wall and not stop because if you stop, let's say I stop here and I come back an hour later, this is dry and this isn't, you'll see. Where, Lines, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, so now be able to blend it. I come back. Okay. Now some spots tend to, for some reason, sometimes it won't stay. Now all I'm doing, I'm not pushing it, all I'm doing is gliding it. Okay. See like these little spots here, I go back, do this, do this, you come back, and you fix it. Now again, look at the wall there. That's why it's harder sometimes to use this. Right. So I like to use this to get tight against the wall, push forward, and then you go back. And now, you keep doing that. So I'm basically just going to go along the seams okay. here. Fill it in. Let me go close up with that. Yeah. All right. Now, everybody has a different way of doing things. This is the way I like to do it. You know, some will teach you Can when I do this. First and then work your way towards the middle. Exactly. Okay. For the middle, I mean, again, you can start from the bottom to the top or top to the bottom. I like to go to the top to the bottom. The reason is because if you start here, as you're going up, it starts to fall and it'll land on the actual plate. Okay. So I like to start here. This way everything falls down to the bottom. Falls downward, yeah. Now I take a little more. Now I push it in. Right across. And now I go back to where I was originally. And as you can see, it's smoother. And you don't see the seam. So that's the important part about doing the uh, 
just consistently keep in the same motion and, and just, you don't have to keep the same motion, but it's, sometimes you see as you're doing it, it leaves a different pattern. Uh -huh. So, but again, it doesn't have to be perfect now anyway, because I have to compress this after, which means I have to bring the sponge, water, and you push it into the wall basically, which makes it then really conceal and, and, and stick, or seal, I should say, not conceal. Stick to the wall. All right, basically, and this is almost a way of compressing it. You see here? See now, that's what happened when sometimes yeah, see that right there. I just see I if just you get a little closer. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. It's hard to see, but it's lumpy. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take my trowel, go over it, and gone. Yeah. Okay, and that was there before is because sometimes it's too dry. All right, so now I'm gonna take this again. Yeah, I see it's kind of flaking in some spots. Or, right, or see all this? Or, right, yeah. right. Well, this is just because I put it on there. Uh -huh. Now watch. As I play with it, I put on, and now I feel it in my trowel. That's why I don't wear gloves like when I do this. Uh -huh. I feel the trowel actually picking up the clay. Okay. So, again, I'm just gliding it. I'm not pushing it into the wall. You feel it. You have to feel it in the uh, trowel as you're doing it. And that's why I like to use these because these bends, so you actually have some kind of feeling as you're doing it. As you and go along, you basically get better at it. Yes, exactly. It takes time and, and it's not something you're going to learn in one day. You can get the basics but to get it to where you want. See, again, I pulled it too much. I'm uh -huh. not going over it too much in some places. Okay. But I go back and it's done. Okay. There's a line here. You just go back. I can push it. Now, sometimes because of the aggregate in the clay, like little pebbles or whatever, uh -huh. you'll see lines in it. That's just because it's pulling it. All right. Okay. So now I got to this point. So are you looking for a smooth? 